welcome to the K Weekend, welcome to BSF. This is our first live talk for today. We are going to talk about this thing here. It's a pallet loaded with innovation and I'm very happy to have two experts with me on stage. Right next to me is Eric the Box, he's the founder and CEO of Arma. And next to him we have Gong Casting. Gom is the team leader for our sales teams for polyurethanes in Western Europe. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. You have been here quite a while already. Yeah. Erik, uh, tell us what Arma is all about. What's your plan? What's your idea? Uh, Arma is all about uh, creating uh, new and better returnable packaging. And uh, the pellet is one example. There are more products. And we connect uh, the products uh, through this uh, little device which lasts for 10 years. We design products to last at least 10 years to connect it directly to the internet. So uh, that makes it possible to track and trace and to follow real time uh, your loads, your pellets, your goods. Uh, and not only follow it, uh, but it's a smart device. It does more. It also gives you the temperature. It also gives you the shocks when you move it. So you know when something gets damaged or uh, uh, something else happens. And it also measures weight. So from now on, you can really see live uh, uh, on your laptop or on your smartphone directly how much weight is on the pallet. Okay. Uh, thank you, Eric. Um, Gom, how does BASF play a role in this product, in the intelligent pallet? Well, we've played a role. Um, we supply the uh, spray coating that goes onto the pallet. And that's been a real team effort from our side. I want to thank very much my Dutch colleague, who was the first to contact I am, uh, Arma, or were contact, uh, Arma needed some information from them. And uh, that's where it really started up, with a special elastic coat C that uh, coats the uh, Arma palette. As you can see, it's a, got a wonderful uh, surface. It looks a bit different from uh, many other palettes. It really is uh, very nice, very good functionality for the things it's needed for. Lightweight and uh, has a very, very uh, stiff uh, built up uh, the whole palette. Is it uh, this Elastocoat C, I think? Is it a new product or did you have to adapt it for the use in the palette in some way? It comes from our Elastocoat C uh, range of uh, products for spray coating. So it's a standard product, but we have modified the product to fit into exactly the properties that Arma needs and the type of uh, production uh, methods that they have at Arma. Eric, exactly. yeah, please. Yeah, because uh, uh, let me, sorry, uh, Gorm. Uh, it was indeed a bit modified because what do we need in new products? We need to last it for a long time. So you have to be able to protect it. So uh, the Elastocoat provides for high impact strength. Um, so you have to protect uh, the edges um, and the skids. And what is also important, of course, that it has to be uh, anti slip. You don't want your products to slip off the pallet uh, when the forklift truck uh, has to break or speeds. And that is a modified uh, uh, PU coating which provides all of that. Apart from that, it also has an advantage that's in high cleanability. So compared to other products, this product is very well uh, uh, to be cleaned. So that you also can use it in, in food and pharmaceutical conditions. Eric, did you, did you know from the beginning that you would need a certain product like this, or was it also a joint idea development with BASF? No, it was absolutely a joint uh, idea uh, development. Uh, of course, we knew that we needed new products because the market uh, demands uh, replacement for traditional products, and it was a joint development between us and BASF to come with a total new standard in returnable packaging. Gorm, I would be interested in, in learning a little more about the, the partnership between BASF and Arma. I think Arma is still a, a very young and fresh company, uh, probably very fast acting. Yes. How does it work with BASF, 113,000 people, sometimes a little slow? Yeah. I think in this case we were not slow. In this case, like, as I mentioned before, we have our European setup and uh, Arma were looking for somebody uh, who they could uh, discuss the the, the, the coating with, the machinery and these things, and that's where my colleague from, uh, from Holland, uh, Elaine van Orsho, was quick to respond to Arma's request. Mm -hmm. And from then on, it's been a real teamwork between uh, the uh, Arma, uh, Elaine, and then now we've got our technical team in Lemferde working on it and uh, looking at new properties, looking at new ideas that Arma's customers are asking for so we can further modify 
the uh, production and the surface finish of the product. So it's still ongoing. You're still it's further developing, improving the product. Yes, we're still working on it, and we're looking at the new properties that customers are asking for. So it's an ongoing development with our uh, technical service and development department. Eric, I think the idea is, is really smart. Um, could you tell us a little more about the, the business of doing those pellets? How many are there in the world, traditional pellets? What happens to them? Well, uh, uh, that's a good point. Um, as we all know, nobody knows exactly how many pellets or containers there are uh, running around in the world. Um, the estimation on pellets that there are around 9 billion uh, in logistic change. Uh, and many, many more other applications like containers and boxes. So the market is huge. Um, and that's also uh, very important for us to have to set a standard and to become a part of this market. Coming back to uh, Richard's questions on the cooperation between a very small uh, a company like us and, and a big company, a tanker like BSF, um, we, we haven't never felt uh, that difference. I mean, we uh, work very closely with BSF and even if, they're a, even if they are a big uh, a tanker, they behave like a speedboat. So they really uh, 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 catch up with us on the speed. Okay, that's uh, good to hear. Gordon. That's good to hear. Thank you very much, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So I have, I'm, I'm uh, guessing that BASF also uses quite a number of pallets in our logistics. So I have to ask the question, is there a plan to also introduce them at BASF? Are you talking about it? Yes, certainly we are. Uh, there's been some ongoing contacts uh, with uh, our uh, procurement department at BASF. Lately, there have been uh, some tests have been done to test the uh, type of uh, standard, the pallets, plastic pallets that are on the market today. And clearly, the test with uh, this pallet have shown that it has extremely good properties and is much more stiff than the plastic pallets used today. So I think uh, this is something that's going to move on with BSF, and we will start using these internally in BSF for our own moving around of goods. Um, Eric, last question to you. Yes. Um, you, uh, we have presented this together in, in June at the KFAIR press conference. What has the feedback been so far? What kind of response are you getting from other partners, customers? Um, well, we have uh, indeed been uh, uh, presenting this in the, on the 28th of June. Uh, and since that time, we have a lot of response. Um, uh, not only on the product. Uh, everyone wants to test the product, see whether it fits in their own supply chain. Uh, but we also had a lot of response on the technology we use. Um, there are uh, very uh, uh, good sensors in this transponder. So we get a lot of requests. Well, if you can measure weight and temperature and other things, could you also measure a carbon footprint? Could you measure humidity? And yes, we can. So we are really going to make a dumb product, a very smart product that helps you to save cost in your supply chain. Okay. Gentlemen, that was very interesting. You will still be around here for some minutes yes. to uh, explain sure. more about the pellet, so you are all invited to test and touch and feel it. Thanks again for these insights. Uh, you are still Thank around you. here at K. Um, we are. We are. Yes. Have a nice rest of the day. Thanks See you later. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Richard.